<clears throat> so how do you break through social situations where you're in a social situation and often you've been with these groups of people for a long 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 time and you want change you want to get out of these patterns you want to spend time with other people but the pressure you will face if you find other friends is just phenomenal like you can't even phantom the thought of like when your friends call you up and they say do you want to do something and you say no and then they say why and you say well because we're two different people how do you explain that you don't want to be around them because they are not bringing because they are bringing you down and they are not enlightening you how do you tell your friends that you can no longer hang with them because you want to grow as a spiritual being when they probably don't even know what a spiritual being is like it is a difficult process and like anything in life if you look at plants look at nature it takes a while to grow if you look at a plant you plant a seed you know like a month later or so you get a bud because it's got the the, the 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 situation and the circumstances have to be right it's got to be hot enough there's got to be enough space for it to grow it needs to be water it is a process that won't happen overnight from experience this is what happened when you realize that people around you are not on the same vibration as you you cannot evolve forward and raise your vibration if you are always going back to an old vibration because you attracted to that vibration in the first place based on an old you which means old patterns old things that you were doing which means that when you go back to that pattern it's going to feel uncomfortable because that isn't your energy anymore now there's nothing wrong with these people these amazing people just like a person is amazing but if you hang around a field too much for the cows you're going to smell like shit if you hang around a field full of corn you're going to smell like corn and if you hang around a rose bush too much you're going to start to smell like a rose now what that's saying is that if you spend too much time around people or things you become them you become part of them they say that you are made up of the five people you spend most time around well obviously that is true if you are in a house that is cooking spices then you're going to come out smelling like spices right so unfortunately when you want to grow as a person you've got to make a biggest decision of your life the biggest decision in your life you're gonna to have to make is do i want to cut ties with the past to find the future that i really want or do i stay present with what i have now and it is hard it was hard for me when i had to say goodbye to people that i'd hanged around with and i'd known and i'd loved and i spent time with and enjoyed my childhood with my whole life like of course that was hard and you don't have friends for a period of time but that's called the transition period where you have to cut ties to the past because you need to grow and you need to find the right tools in order to grow and often people who don't know how to find the tools or don't know about self-awareness self-development will just stay in that pattern and if that pattern is every weekend you go to the pub every weekend you go for a bike ride every weekend you drink that pattern's going to keep occurring and they're going to call you up if you want to go for a bike ride if you want to go to the pub if you want to go for a drink unfortunately when you make a decision to to change your life you then have to go into the future to see are these people likely to be in my life in the future and if your answer is no well this is where this is where the struggle begins but it's a good struggle it's an easy it's a nice struggle it not it's not nice but when you understand where you're going and why you're taking these actions it overwhelms you with joy and love and positive energy like it's almost like you're grieving like i cried and grieved every one of my friends when i made the decision not to speak to them anymore i literally cried as if they died because technically they did die because the person that i was i wasn't and the person that they were wasn't me anymore so you have to say goodbye to them but when you start the journey know that there's a transition period where you don't see anyone for ages because you have to stop going out every time they call you because that's time away from yourself that you need to find who you really are so that transition period kicks in and then you eventually start to get calls from them and they message you and they say come out and you have to say no eventually after saying no 
you can't come out to the pub, you can't do this, you can't do that. They're going to be like, what the hell is going on? Why do you keep saying no? Now, the aim is not to lie. If you lie, you'll make the situation worse. Be truthful. There's nothing to hide, right? There's nothing to hide. They call you up and they say, come down the pub. Don't lie and be like, oh, I'm busy. You don't need to lie. You just say, no, I'm not feeling it. No, I, it doesn't, I don't feel like it. You're going to have to justify why you're doing something or not doing something. You're your own person. You can do whatever you want. Don't lie. Okay, lying backfires. They ask you, hey, do you want to come out to the pub? You say, thank you for the offer, but no thank you. Why? Don't feel like it. Eventually, they might ask you like, say, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times, and you've given the same answer. I don't feel like it. Eventually, they'll be like, fine, can't be asked with you. And that is essentially the point where you want them to get, where you're playing ping pong. They hit the ball, you hit the ball back. They hit the ball, you hit the ball back. Do you want to come to the pub? No, thank you. Why? Don't feel like it. Next week, do you want to go to the play tennis? No, thank you. Why? Don't feel like it. Essentially, like a piano, the notes go up. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They don't just only jump from C to D, right? Or C to G, whatever. They go up, which means that the energy has to go up. When your friends are used to seeing you every single week, you're part of their life, you're part of their thought process. Every time you go to the pub, you might want to go play football with them next week. You might want to go out for dinner. You're part of their process, their life. So when you cut ties with somebody, in your mindset, you're making the decision to find who you are. So the patterns will keep occurring. It's like when you have weeds and you suddenly weed a few. They're going to keep coming back because you didn't realise there was a weed over there. So eventually you prune lots of dish, lots of flower beds and then that weed is gone and that weed is gone and then you see another weed which you didn't know was there and then you weed that and eventually you can manage all the weeds because there's less weeds to manage now. So now what you have to do is de-weed that one, de-weed that one and de-weed that one and then you monitor it and make sure no weeds come back. And then what happens is that when your friends start to call you up and say let's do something, you you have to just keep saying no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. That's the same as finding a weed and taking that weed. Eventually, the weeds will disappear. You pruned it long enough that it won't come back. Eventually, your friends will realise that you don't want to do anything anymore and therefore they won't bother speaking to you. Now, you don't want the pressure of having to explain and justify why. The, the, the easiest way is just to be respectful and polite and say thank you for asking me but no thank you. They say why? I don't feel like it. What does I don't feel like it mean? It means the energy isn't the same. I am not the same energy as you. My thoughts and my energy aren't of those same thoughts and energies in that pub or in that football stadium or on that bike ride. My energies have to match. A bowl of fruit needs to be with a bowl of fruit. Cows need to be with the cows. Trees need to be with the trees, you know? Scooters need to be with scooters. At that point you are a scooter, here's a bowl of fruit. And I do not feel like it is saying the energies do not match. Now, unfortunately, it's probably never gonna match ever again, because as you grow, you become such high energy that you won't fit in with the past. So, your friends will start to come up to you and they'll say, you know, why don't you wanna do anything anymore? You just have to tell them, eventually they will stop asking you. And it is sad, because then you realize that this is probably the end of communication and then they won't message you and then eventually a few months later you might hear from them again they might try their luck and they might be like do you want to do something again no thank you but thank you for asking eventually they'll realize that you're not going to be coming out with them ever again and by that time you would have had a few months past where you would have had time to completely grow as a person completely heal completely find what things you want in your life You'd have so much time for yourself. Time isn't gone out physically to the pub or to the football stadium. Mentally, you're not always on the phone to them, always doing something. Your thoughts are within yourself and they're staying inside you. So now as you're, now you're still on a Friday night rather than going out to the pub on a Friday night, all your thoughts and energy stays within rather than being exposed, talking bollocks to people down the pub about bullshit it stays inside you, so now you've got more energy. So now you can think about things clearer because you've got more energy to find answers, like a massive antenna. You can project that antenna out there and find answers and then it comes back, and then it comes back with more knowledge that increases your energy, and there you have more knowledge and more energy. So now your antenna increases and then you put out more thoughts and they come back. Eventually, that past of doing things every Friday down the pub is just it's history, it's gone. It doesn't exist. It was there and it was gone. Think about it, when animals migrate from Africa to, I don't know, America, 
that's a fucking like load of miles along the way right but they always they always make it and you look back and you think wow the fuck did they make it that's because they did it bit by bit they they walked until it was dark and then they slept and then they got up and then they walked and then it was dark and then they slept everything happens in cycles it just doesn't happen all in one go you don't stop seeing your friends and that's it you know they say oh okay that's fine and they never speak to you again they keep coming back you've got to keep going it's in motion eventually you look back those friends were just people of the past people who you used to be and then you are present and then you can actually focus on your future and where you want to go and you realize how exciting the future is and you're going to meet so many more new people that make you feel better than those people did Essentially, we call friends just people who we see. But when you ask yourself, what is a friend? Do these people have my best interest? Do they actually like me? Do they lie to me? Do they talk about me behind my back? Are they late? Do they let me down? Do they really, really like me? Could I really rely on them? Would they help me out if I needed them? If I needed money, would they give it to me? You've got to ask yourself these questions. If the, aren't, the chances are, majority of your people, the answer is no. As I said, true friends, there's only like a few. Okay. We are all a unique vibration. There's only a few people on that same frequency. Friends often come from school days and they're just there in the same year. And you just like choose the people which you have the most in common with, but really you don't have anything in common with them. You have a few things, but not really anything. And so, you know, and then you have keep on hold of these friends until you get older, 23, 24, 25. But they're not the same as you. You are not the person you were then. And you aren't the person that you really want to be now and in order to find that new person you've got to say goodbye to the old you which is the old friends you used to hang around because you were made up of those people in order to find you and when you do you never look back and it's amazing